वेलकम बैक टू नागेश करस की ऑर्किड स्कूल चैनल सो चिल्ड्रन इन द प्रीवियस एपिसोड यू हैव स्टडीड द गुड प्ले राइट द पोएम वॉज गुड प्ले सो इन दिस एपिसोड वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी द स्टोरी ऑफ अ पुअर वुड कटर द पुअर वुड कटर सो चिल्ड्रन वॉट एवर द वर्क यू आर डूइंग means we are doing it should be honest right whatever the work it comes to you you have to be in a honest way the work should be done in a honest way okay children so let us see the story of a poor woodcutter let us see the story of a poor woodcutter in this episode so what happens let us see now Yes, children. So you have to take out page number forty-two. The lesson name: the poor woodcutter. Okay. The lesson number four: the poor woodcutter. Okay, children. Before starting, just we will do some warm-up exercises here. Few exercises. So you have to do with a pencil. Okay. Yes, children. On the same page, page number forty-two. There is a match the things with the people who use them. Yes, children, you have some pictures given to the top and downside. There are the people who use them. Okay, children. So you have to match this to the pictures to the people. Okay. The first one. What is the first one, children? Here, brush. Very good. and the second picture is axe and the third one stethoscope fourth one scissors okay and here there are people doctor tailor woodcutter and artist so children you have to match these things to the people okay so the first one brush who will use the brush artist very good so you have to match this brush to artist the second picture is of axe what is your children axe yes who will use axe the woodcutter yes woodcutter will use the axe so you have to match this people to this axe the next one is stethoscope okay this thing who will use the stethoscope doctor yes so you have to use you have to mark this thing to doctor okay the next picture is of scissors what is your children scissors right who will use the scissor tailor very good okay so in this way you have to match this things to the people okay children yes so children here here is the poor woodcutter okay so every day he used to cut the woods in the forest now let us see what happened okay just before that i will show one small video to you children the poor woodcutter once there was a poor woodcutter who was good and honest every day he cut some wood in the forest and sold it for some money one day as he was cutting wood near a river His axe slipped from his hand and fell into the river. The poor woodcutter cried and cried. The goddess of the river heard the woodcutter crying. Why are you crying, woodcutter? The woodcutter thought, "My axe fell into the river. How will I now cut wood? How will I live?" The goddess of the river. Went into the water 
and came out with a golden axe. She asked him, Is this your axe, woodcutter? He replied, No, no, this is a golden axe. My axe is made of iron. So she went into the water again and came out with a silver axe. The woodcutter said, No, no, this is a silver axe. My axe is made of iron. The goddess then brought out an iron axe. She asked him once again, Is this your axe, woodcutter? Yes, yes, he exclaimed happily. Thank you. The goddess of the river was very pleased with his honesty and gifted him both the golden axe and the silver axe. The woodcutter was very happy. Yes, children, have you enjoyed the video? Yes. So, in this story, the poor woodcutter, he was very honest. He was very honest. Once there was a poor woodcutter. The woodcutter was a good man. He was very honest. So, children, the year of the poor woodcutter, he was very honest. The woodcutter was a good man. He was very honest. Every day he cut some wood and sold it for some money. So children, here every day this woodcutter used to go to the forest and cut the woods. And he used to sell those woods and take some money. Okay. One day he went to the forest. One day what happened children? He decided to go to the forest to cut woods. He was cutting the wood near a river. So just he thought to go to the forest. He went near the river to cut some wood. Okay. And when he was cutting the wood, all of a sudden his axe slipped and fell it into the river okay so he cried the poor woodcutter cried and cried he was just crying oh my axe fell into the river the goddess of the river heard the woodcutter crying so when he was crying children the woodcutter was crying he was sitting near to the river and just he was crying all of a sudden what happened the goddess the goddess have heard the woodcutters crying okay goddess why are you crying woodcutter the goddess is asking why are you crying woodcutter has replied what is telling my axe fell into the river my axe fell into the river how will i cut woods now just he was thinking now how will i cut the woods the goddess of the river went into the water so what happened the goddess when she came up she heard the poor woodcutter's story and she went into the river when she went into the river the goddess is this your axe woodcutter she brought the golden axe when she went into the river she took she brought some one golden axe is this your axe woodcutter woodcutter is saying no no this is a golden axe this is a golden axe this axe is not mine my axe is made up of iron the goddess of the river went back into the water again the goddess she went into the river and she took one of the axe and that axe was silver axe okay the goddess of the river went back into the water she came out with a silver axe so when the second time when she went children she brought the 
silver axe here again goddess is telling to the woodcutter is this your axe woodcutter the woodcutter replies no no this is a silver axe my axe is made up of iron so what is telling when he saw the golden axe he replied no my axe is iron axe when he got the silver axe again he saying no this is not mine axe mine axe is a iron axe okay again here the goddess of the river went into the water again for the third time again the goddess have went into the river and she came out with the iron axe so when she came with the iron axe the woodcutter was very happy he was very happy seeing his um, iron axe okay she came out with an iron axe goddess is this your axe woodcutter yes so when he saw the iron axe he was very happy again your woodcutter yes yes this is my axe my axe is made up of iron thank you can now i go and cut woods so he is saying thanks to the goddess thank you so i got my iron axe thank you now i will go the goddess of the river was very pleased the goddess she was very pleased seeing his honesty the poor woodcutter what happened children here when the goddess has given him the golden axe he rejected silver axe he rejected when she, the goddess has given him the iron axe he was very happy and the goddess she is very pleased with the woodcutter why because so looking at his honesty she was very pleased you are good man you are a good man you are very honest here the goddess is telling you are very honest man take the golden axe and the silver axe too the woodcutter was very happy seeing his honesty children the goddess has rewarded with golden axe with silver axe and with iron axe now this poor woodcutter he became very rich okay children so always you have to be honest honest is honesty is always rewarded yes children honesty is always re rewarded so whenever you are doing something for example you are writing the paper right your exams are there so you are writing your exam so while writing the exam also you have to be very honest children so now you are writing at home the papers right so just learn by heart it and give the exam okay children so whatever the work you are doing it should be honest and honesty is always rewarded children okay so once again we will read this um story okay otherwise i will play an audio for you yes children it's okay the poor woodcutter once there was a poor woodcutter the woodcutter was a good man he was very honest every day he cut some wood and sold it for some money one day he went to the forest to cut wood he was cutting wood near a river his axe slipped and fell into the river the poor woodcutter cried and cried Yes children you have to turn the page now The goddess of the river 
hurt the woodcutter crying. Why are you crying, woodcutter? My axe fell into the river. How will I cut wood now? How will I live? The goddess of the river went into the water. She came out with a golden axe. Is this your axe, woodcutter? No, no, this is a golden axe. My axe is made of iron. The goddess of the river went into the water. She came out with a silver axe. Is this your axe, woodcutter? No, no, this is a silver axe. My axe is made of iron. The goddess of the river went into the water. She came out with an iron axe. Is this your axe, woodcutter? So children, on the next page, Yes, yes, this is my axe. My axe is made of iron. Thank you. I can now go and cut wood. The goddess of the river was very pleased. You are a good man. You are very honest. Take the golden axe and the silver axe. The woodcutter was very happy. Yes, children. So, after the story, we will go with exercise, page number 44, tick the right if this sentences are true and cross if they are not true. Okay, the first sentence, the woodcutter was a poor man. Yes, children, is this sentence correct? It's true. Yes, the woodcutter was a poor man. So, here you have to tick mark it. Okay, you have to give a right one. The next sentence, the axe of the woodcutter fell into the river. Is this sentence is correct? Yes. So, children, here you have to give a tick. The third one, the goddess of the river came out with a silver axe first. So, when the goddess has come out with the golden axe, first it was a golden axe. So, this sentence is wrong. So, what you have to do is, here you have to cross it. Okay? The next one, fourth one, the woodcutter did not accept the golden axe. When he, uh, when the goddess has given him the golden axe, has he accepted? No. So, this sentence is correct. The woodcutter did not accept the golden axe. Okay. Fifth one, the goddess rewarded him because he was very honest. Is this sentence correct children? Yes. The goddess rewarded him because he was very honest. So this sentence is correct. Okay children. So next one. B question on page number 45. You have to take out page number 45. Take the right option to complete these sentences. Here some two options are given to you children. From that you have to take out the correct option. The woodcutter cried and cried because his axe fell into the river or his axe was lost. Why he was crying children? Because his axe fell into the river and his axe was not lost. So that B1 is not the answer. So the A1 is the correct answer. So you have to take mark for the A1. The woodcutter accepted the golden axe or the iron axe? Yes children? Yeah. Go. The iron axe. 
the next one the goddess showed him the iron axe first or the golden axe very good the golden axe fourth one the goddess gave the woodcutter the goddess gave the woodcutter the golden axe and the silver axe or only the golden axe what goddess has given she has given the golden axe and the silver axe language in you children read these words your action that are happening right now go going say say okay by adding ing to the action word we show that the action is going on now the action is continuing so present tense so you have to use that ing okay a1 add ing to the action words here what you have to do the action is going now for example stand he is standing on the bench why because he is standing on the bench that is a present tense okay stand standing that stand action word you have to do it now in the continuous form stand standing stand standing second one speak speak speaking speak speaking okay cry crying sing singing fly flying walk walking okay children the next one b1 answer the questions by adding ing to the action words here some sentences are given to you and the action word is in the bracket so here you have to add ing to the action word what is meera doing she is dash in the bracket laugh the first one is done for you the second one what is paul doing he is eating so what is doing he is eating to that action word you have to add ing okay children the next one page number 46 next page 46 page number the third one what is sohel doing he is what is doing he is sleeping okay next what is sumi doing she is reading she is reading okay what is amar doing he is coloring he is coloring okay what is anil doing he is watering a plants what is doing he is watering a uh, plants okay children the last one choose the right word from the box and fill in the blanks some options are given to you pen paint marker ball and racket okay 
the first one a teacher uses this on the white board when teacher is writing on the white board what she will use children will she use pen or marker yes she will use marker okay second one a tennis player uses this what a tennis player uses he uses bat or a racket racket okay here the option is racket okay the next one third one a writer uses this what a writer uses children pen or a paint pen he uses pen fourth one an artist uses this what an artist use children paint he uses paint a cricketer hits this with the bat ball what he hits children ball okay so here we have completed this lesson uh, children so uh, here we have completed the lesson so you have to read the lesson carefully the story loudly and here we have completed the lesson children so you have to be honest whatever the work you are doing honesty is always rewarded okay children be honest to yourself okay until then bye children take care